This is Big Talk, September 2008. Nashwan Hamza on What is Love? Narrated by Nick Hambly. I find this question most interesting because I found that it elicits different responses in me depending on which side of my personality is thinking about it at the time. My initial feelings seem to spring from my innocent days of beetle loving and hippie envy. I can still close my eyes and picture myself lying on a grass-covered hill, looking up at pretty girls in colorful skirts, dancing all around me in the sun with flowers in their hair, grooving to the sounds of Simon and Garfunkel. Far out, man. My childhood personality thinks of my mother's unconditional love and the nurturing sound of her voice. My mature adult side thinks of my wife, who because of our life spent together holds my soul for safekeeping. And then comes the feelings my children invoke in me, that human language alone cannot really express, even with words like love. The parts of my heart and mind that belong to my Creator consider that God manifests love in creating life. And we humans are the ultimate expression of that love. But despite these wonderful concepts that my mind allows me to create, when I try my hardest to truly ask myself what is this thing I refer to as love, I keep coming back to a very unromantic explanation. An explanation that lives in the portion of my mind that seems to want to reduce everything to science. I believe that love is a chemically triggered emotion in the brain that responds to anything that satisfies our needs and desires. There, I've said it. I even seem to hate stating this explanation because it removes all the majesty of the experience. There are many aspects or facets to the feelings of love, such as sexual attraction, love-making, compassion, caring, entrusting, reliance, dependence, admiration, and many others. When we are the recipients of or are allowed the opportunity to give these needs and desires to others, the result is this feeling we call love. And the quantity and quality to which we are able to give and receive these needs and desires determines the degree and depth to which we feel we are in love. We are born with needs and desires, and if they remain unfulfilled, we become miserable and depressed. When we are able to express them, or have them expressed to us, we get a reward of the incredible sensation of love. You will be happy to know that when it comes to love, my science side is quite dormant. And I'm so grateful for my groovy side. I believe John Lennon said it best. All you need is love. Thank you. Get in our forum on betweenaduck.com so you can respond to Nashwan's post and many others. Until next time.